remember to wash your hands. Hello everyone! Welcome to Kids Church Online! We're glad you can join us today. I am Teacher Jenny and we're all excited you can be here with us. We are now on our fourth week for this month's series, Lord Overall. I know you're all excited. But before that, everybody, please stand up as we sing our praises and our worship to our Almighty God. No sickness or any situation can stop us from worshiping and praising Him. Isn't it great that you can praise Him anytime, anywhere? Let's all welcome Romer and Elise to lead us in our praise and worship. Hello, 
kiddos. Um, again, um, I am Teacher Al, and I am, uh, and we are on the last week of our series entitled "Lord Over All." Okay, but before that, we'll have to pray first. Lord God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to learn your words. Guide us today in our lessons, and may you fill our hearts with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay. Again, guys, uh, we are ending the series with the truth that Jesus is indeed our Lord over all. All right. Now, I, all I hope is that for the past few weeks that we have been uh, in this series, you have been learning about all about uh, the Lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. In the first week, Teacher Neil have discussed about Lord over our decisions. All right. And in the second week, uh, Teacher Cheryl talks about the Lord over the problems. And last week, Teacher Hygiene discussed about the Lord over sicknesses. Now, to sum this all up, okay, in this in this last week of our series, um, it will summarize and teach us the sovereignty of uh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Like what our power, uh, our power truth says, and let's it, let's lead it all together. Today, our power truth is Jesus is Lord over all. Can you repeat it with me? That's great. Jesus, Lord, is Lord over all. Okay? And for our, our power verse comes from the book of Philippians 2 verse 11. And every time acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to glory, to the glory of God the Father. Now, I will show you some pictures of a different places and I want you to tell me who is the boss of that place. I will show an example. So this is the kitchen. Who do you think is the boss in the kitchen? The answer is a chef or a cook. Now, let me show you uh, another place. Can you, can you guess what uh, what is this place? Yes, that's indeed a clinic. Okay, And who is the boss on the clinic? That will be the doctor. Now, the next picture will be... Do you have an idea what is this? It's actually an army. Alright? It doesn't look like one, but it is an army. And who leads an army? That is the general. Okay? How about this place? This is a castle. And in the castle, who's the boss? Of course, that is the king. Now, the last picture I want to show you is this one. Can you guess which map, map of a country is this? It is actually the map of the USA. And who leads the country? That's the president. Yes. Okay. So, those are the bosses of the places that I've showed you. Okay? But if I ask you, who's the ruler of all? Yes, that is Jesus is the ruler of all. Just like our power truth says, Jesus is Lord over all. And that is what we will focus for today. Now, I want to uh, uh, I want you to take a uh, look at your Bible and open into Matthew verse 28 to 18. After Jesus has resurrected from the dead, he went to appear to many people, including his apostles. Okay? And before he went to heaven, during his ascension, Jesus gave a command. Okay? Again, it's a command, all right? which is popularly known as the Great uh, Commission. And this is what happened. If you open your Bible to Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20, then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Let's see what is the meaning of the word authority. Authority means power to rule. And then in verse 19, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you 
and surely I am with you always to the very edge, to the very end of the age. Now from this story, that let's let's look at three things that we can learn about Jesus and what he did. The first one, Jesus has the can you get what is the uh, jumble word is? Yes, that is correct. Jesus is has the authority or the power to rule, right? So in verse 18, it clearly says that Jesus came to them and said, All authority, not some, but all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. This is what he said. Jesus has the authority not just in heaven, but also on earth. All over the earth, basically. And that means that he has authority over everything. I'll show you one uh, picture of a executive chef okay from watching cooking shows i have learned that um, there are many kinds of chef there are sous chef um, a pastry chef who, who makes uh, cakes um, uh, station chef okay the sous chef is basically the one who's assisting the executive chef but one who decides on everything is the executive chef as you have seen in the image where he or she can change the menu the recipe the way the cook the food is cooked and the way food is served and he's the chef of chef in a kitchen and he is the authority over everything that happens inside the kitchen jesus also is the lord of lords okay he's in control of everything in heaven and in earth that means that he is in charge uh, of things that we see and we don't see also so we don't uh, we don't worry about anything around you Jesus takes care of things you see, and even if you don't, that if you don't. And if you're alone, don't be afraid, of course, because God is always in control. The second lesson would be, Jesus have a, I said it uh, earlier, Jesus has gave a command. Yes, that's correct. So it's a command. It's not a request. Okay, it's a command. Okay? Now, if you'll see in Matthew 28, verse 19, Therefore, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations by baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In this verse, Jesus commanded us to go and make disciples of all nations. Okay? But that is quite tough right now because of the current situation that we have. Okay? But that doesn't stop us from doing or making disciples, right? Because Jesus did not say, can you go? Or if you want to go, right? It is clearly not a request. It is a command. Okay, And as a disciple, of course, of God, is, uh, is someone who follows Jesus, fishes for people, and fellowship with other believers. When Jesus said to make disciples of everyone, he also meant those people who don't, uh, that we don't even like to have to hang up with, and we need to introduce Jesus to everyone so that we can take part in advancing uh, in advancing His kingdom. Let me show you a short video. Okay, in that video, I would like to have a disclaimer in this part because of the current pandemic of the COVID-19, right? There's a travel restrictions and we should avoid contacts with other people. 
However, this should not be a reason, of course, on not to spread the word of God. However, we can uh, use the current technology like video chat or a simple message to our friends will do on sharing the word of God. Just like the scratch of math, together we will make disciples in every nation because this is what Jesus told us to do. But before we can do that, of course, we can start uh, making disciples of people around us first, okay, to those people who are close to us, we should start to them, okay? And have you tried sharing the gospel to your friend? Lesson number three. Jesus made a... Yes, it's a promise, okay? Jesus made a promise in Matthew 28 for the last verse, 20. And surely I am with you always to the very end of age. It's not easy to go and make disciples. I myself have experience, uh, you know, uh, speaking to my, my friends and having uh, afraid of not sharing the, the word of God. But whenever I feel afraid, I pray to God that He may guide me. And He does. But in this verse, He reassures us that He will be with us as we obey His command. As we go, His presence gives us assurance that we have not only, only His power but also His protection. Here's a picture of the two friends. As you can see, do you have someone you consider a, two, a true friend? A true friend will never leave you on your own. He or she will pray for you when you're sick. A true friend has real concern for you and will be there when you need someone to lean on. But of course, a lot of things can change. And can happen, of course. Okay? But of course, a lot of things uh, that in your friend's family may migrate or move to some other place and he or she will never have to, uh, have to spend less time with you. So things change, right? But uh, that's what happens with our friends, but not with God. Whatever happens, He will never leave us or fors forsake us. There is nothing that can separate us from God's love. Do you uh, sometimes feel alone and feels like there's no one can uh, you can run to? Remember that Jesus had made a promise that he will be with us until the very end. Now, how can we put practice what we have learned today? First one. What did Jesus command us? Yes, it makes disciples. Okay, so we should make disciples. As a disciple of Jesus, we are called to make disciples as well. God's heart is uh, God's heart is to reach out to those who don't know Him yet. So if you know someone who doesn't know and have a relationship with Jesus yet, tell him or her about Jesus and what He has done for us. Number two, seek, of course, seek God. Jesus told us that he or she, ah, sorry, Jesus told us that he is with us until the very end. But do you even feel that he is with you? You'll find him if you seek him. By talking to him, by talking to him through prayers, of course. But then you will realize that he never let, left you at all. So if you are facing a challenge, like exams, just pray just, uh, and tell God that to be with you as you study and as you take your exam. Next is, you have to point to Jesus. Let's read our power truth again. Jesus is the Lord over all. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus is Lord to the glory of, the, of God the Father. Our power verse clearly explains that Jesus is Lord. Every tongue means that, in the end, every single person will really say that Jesus Christ is Lord. The few verses before that said that Jesus is lifted high because He was so obedient and was even willing to die on the cross. But most painful and the most shameful way to die that time. Yet Jesus did it because He loves us. Wouldn't you love to follow a Lord who did that for you? 
now it's handle time. What have you learned from today's preaching? Number two, share us, share to us about a time when you thought Jesus wasn't fair, and why you why did you think so? Let's pray that you always remember what He is with you. Now let's bow our head for our closing prayer. Lord God, thank you for everything that you have done for us, for always being there, whatever circumstances we are. We we thank you for sacrificing your only Son Jesus to save you to save us from our sins. Thank you for the life of these kids, God. We want to give glory and honor to you by following your command and making disciples on every nation. We pray for protection, Lord God, during this pandemic COVID-19, especially for our loved ones. We pray for healing for those who are affected with this disease. We give you all the praises, the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Kids and parents, thank you for your time and see you next week for our new series. God bless you all.